Prison reform advocates are asking state lawmakers to back legislation that would shorten the prison sentences of some inmates. Michigan has about 48,000 inmates within its correctional system. Former inmate Adam Grant says he's changed and knows countless others in the system who've done the same. I've got seven felonies on my record. I was a hot mess, um, but I no longer am. And all I want to do is make a difference in the world now. And there's plenty of people in there that want to do just that. On Thursday, advocates for second look prison reforms met up at the state capitol, hoping to get the attention of lawmakers and to get them to create a pathway to freedom for people looking at long sentences like Pauline Thompson's son, Jamie Mead. I think that they should look at stuff and like give the guys good time. The guys that's changing, I thought prison, that's what it was about. You put somebody in there to help, you know, that they change, then you let them out not keep them in there the rest of their life. According to the sentencing project, over 20 states are now considering second look legislation. Today's rally brought together people from the faith community, prison reform advocates, and prisoners' family members who think second look laws are more humane. 40% of Michigan's population were convicted under the age of 26 before their brain was fully developed. And we think that we need to have a piece of legislation that addresses that in addition to the aging population and the fact that people change. They age out of crime, they grow, they rehabilitate, they take responsibility. Under second look reforms, inmates who've served a significant amount of time would be able to be considered for parole. In some states, these second look reforms allow prisoners to be considered for parole after serving 10 years. Advocates for the reform are also asking that people who were sentenced as juveniles be automatically considered for a second look sentence reduction. It's unclear when state lawmakers could take up the issue, but state senators Stephanie Chang and Jeff Irwin both support second look legislation. Your neighborhood reporter in Lansing, Erica Murphy, Fox 47 News.